caveman? A caveman? A caveman! Playing the sacred game? Bring him here. How dare you? Oh, oh. How dare you set foot on our allowed ground? You took our ground. Our home. <laughs> that? Listen, you Stone Age put. You have no home. Your kind are finished on this earth. Now take him away and kill him. Slowly. No, I mean, take him away at normal speed and kill him. Slowly, idiots. <laughs> now get on with the game. We challenge the champions. Wait. Wait. <laughs> 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 Champions! Huh? What did you say? He said uh, we I heard what he said. If we win, we keep our valley. You leave my tribe in peace. Uh, hmm. You think you can beat us at football? <laughs> <laughs> A match between the bronze and the brutes? What an idea! Sacrilege, our premier leader. Yes, quite. The masses would flock to see such a vulgar spectacle. Hmm. <laughs> uh, oh. Really? For the valley, you say? Ooh. And this game is going to make me. Loads of it! Your premiership. What if the queen finds out? Ah, that old crow. She doesn't know what goes on out here. <laughs> Luckily. Ah. 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 Delivering message? Your footballness. It's a message bird. Huh? Ah. Well, go on, make it. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? How do you use this message bird thing? It's the Queen. Just speak into its ear, ma'am. It will mimic everything it hears. I, mean, I don't even know if I'm holding it that... Testing? <coughs> Testing. <coughs> North? North? Perhaps she's heard about the game. Of course she hasn't heard about the game. I've heard about the game. <gasps> you? Arranging a football match against a bunch of savages? You idiot! Imagine if we lost! We won't! I said imagine it! Exactly! The mighty Bronze Age brought to its knees by a bunch of cavemen? Well, I'm warning you, Nuth. You'd better not lose! Hmm? End of message! A rabbit! Get it! That's it. That's it. I've got him. For you, he mate. Ouch! I wouldn't even him scully a good. Oh! Nice try, though. Let's use an element of surprise. <laughs> right out, chief. I got him! No, I haven't! Great! Champion! Whoa. I got this, Gravel! Hey! Mr. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, everyone. Rabbit surprise tonight.
You lot are really putting me off. Sorry. Sorry. Wait, no, not now, Hognob. <laughs> Change your underpants today? Yeah, change them with dongle. <laughs> Never mind. Shush, everyone! Attack! Excellent. The edge of stone is over. Long live the edge of bronze. <laughs> Save the tribe! The arena's this way! So throw your sticks and throw your stones Cause you ain't gonna break my bones Huh? Air a sinner A caveman? A caveman? You leave my tribe in peace! How dare you! Oh. I'll take him away and kill him Slowly Idiots. If we win, we can have our valley back. And if we don't beat them, we'll spend the rest of our lives working down a mine. What's a mine? You're pretty brave, caveman. <laughs> and stupid. Oh, I can help. Hognob, you stay. I don't want to attract attention. In the beginning, the world was a scary place. Except for one peaceful valley. Meet Doug's tribe. They rocked the Stone Age. A rabbit! But a new age is dawning. The edge of stone is over. Long live the edge of bronze. <laughs> Nick Park, the creator of Wallace and Gromit and Chicken Run, comes an epic new world. Sliced bread, that's the best thing since, well, ever. You leave my tribe in peace. What did you say? He said the... You heard what he said. You took our home. We challenged you. For the valley. Mm. You're pretty brave, caveman. And stupid. What strange magic is this? <laughs> I can help. This is Guna. And she's going to help us go back to the valley. Grab a spear. To save their home. Oh. It's pointy. Oh. They'll have to be tough. They may be great, but you can beat them. Fearless. This is a bit dangerous. And go the whole hog. What on earth got into you, Stefano? Sir? <laughs> Come on, everyone. 
Let's show them what we've got. Delivering message? It's a message, Bear. You'd better not lose. One of the most exciting moments for me on making this film was actually going down to Bristol and going to the Arben Studios. Yeah. Oh, how are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was thrilled to be a part of uh, Arben film. <laughs> the day at Arben was just incredible. <laughs> yeah. I grew up with all of the stuff that Arben did and was always completely seduced by it. <laughs> he showed me the model and it did have that massive grin and those teeth that we so relate to Wallace and Gromit. Meet your characters. Wow. <laughs> Una and Doug, these are the actual puppets that we use. It was just kind of surreal, to be honest. Ugh. Oh, you're really good. It's a very different thing to be confronted by who you're playing and then you have to make that live and work. Knowing that you're going to be bringing her to life, it was just really, really special. This way, everyone. I'd love to show you loads more. Yes. Let's do it. We leave these guys here. Hognob. You stay. We've actually come here and see the physicality of the world. You could see it just kind of clicking into place for them. Hey, guys. <laughs> First thing that we would start with is doing initial sculpt, and then when we've made the mould, we can then make a steel skeleton which fits exactly into the mould, so mm -hmm. that you've got a arm and a wrist joint, uh, elbows. So amazing. All of the work that goes into it and the time it takes, it's just something special. What strange magic is this? <laughs> It's the, literally the process, just to be clear. You've got the camera here, yeah. and you literally shoot one frame, and then you go and move. Yeah. Wow. Do you like one line of dialogue? How long would that take? Go for it, as This shot is a day and a half. Right, that's quick. <laughs> this man's on fire. <laughs> it's as it always was. It's still done frame by frame by frame. It's absolutely breathtaking. It's, it's completely amazing. So what happens in here? We call it the lab, live action video. We'll come in here with Nick and record each shot, but with your voice. What, how amazing. <laughs> it's a place where we explore the performance and push it and change it. They got all the yeah. outfit. Eddie put the wig on. He looked That's even fair. more like Eddie Redmayne than normal. Literally my favourite day of the year. <laughs> come on, Maisie. It was like going to the greatest theme park ever. It's the place of legend. Nice job, everyone. Maisie, do you think we should have these in the recording booth? I think it would help, getting into character. It feels nostalgic and yet incredibly funny. Inside, it's magic. I'm working with this top line of British talent. It's just so thrilling. The cast is amazing. Morning, everyone. Morning, morning, Chief. Morning, Chief. Morning, Chief. morning, Chief. Our lead, Doug, is played by Eddie Redmayne. Well, I've just had a great idea. I love his voice. I love what he brings to Doug. Come on, everyone. Doug is a super plucky, incredibly friendly dreamer. He's the optimist, really. Hey! The guy who thinks this tribe is capable of anything. You want us to hunt a five-ton bone-crushing mammoth? Huh? Yes. Yeah. Why not? He's a can-do caveman. You leave my tribe in peace! How dare you! It was like diving back into a familiar world and yet with new adventures and extraordinary new characters. I play Lord Nuth. Hmm. He's a vain, self-important, puffed-up governor. This is like a proper old-school villain. He's got sort of evil dripping from him. Excellent. Lord Nuth is this pompous buffoon. He's a bit ridiculous, really. He has designs on enslaving Doug's tribe to work in the mines. What's your mind? I thought this is only going to be fun. I play Guna. Hi. She is from the Bronze Age. Where have you been, the Stone Age? I loved getting Maisie for this role. You're pretty brave, caveman. <laughs> Doug has found himself in this sticky situation. Guna's adamant that she's going to help. Wow. She's a force of nature that the cavemen aren't expecting, but she's what they need. Knowing that you're going to be bringing her to life, it was just really, really special. Yeah! The whole tribe, they're so funny. Timothy Spall. Nice job, everyone. Johnny Vegas. 
champion. Which is Iowadi. Oh, it's pointy. Oh, it's pointy. Rob Rudd. Hello. K. Van Novak. Brilliant. Everybody brings something completely unique and at ow, the same time ow. immediately recognisable. Well done, Mr. Rock. All the cast have been just so wonderful <laughs> to work with. Excellent. The actors give 110%. It's time for my massage. We were doing the massage scene. <laughs> oh, that's good. He was sort of chopping on my shoulders to get that, uh... Oh, Stefano! And he kept saying, hit me harder, hit me harder. Go in there, Hognob. Uh, hi, Hognob. One of my favourite things is just the random noises you have to do. Hmm. Oh, huh. Ah! <laughs> Excellent. You're sort of diving into this world that you've loved all your life. I felt so proud to be a part of it. Now take him away and kill him. Slowly. Idiots!